Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever you happen to find me. Happy Monday, September 30th. And our author today is Eliza Morgan. And we'll be analyzing Zechariah 4.10. Do not despise these small beginnings. And our title today is Small Miracles. At our wedding shower, our shy friend Dave stood in the corner clutching a tissue-wrapped object. When his turn came to present his gift, he brought it forward. Evan and I unwrapped it to discover a hand-carved piece of wood containing the perfect plaque that was wood grain that had wood grain circles and engraved sentence. Some of God's miracles are small. The plaque was hung in our home for 45 years, reminding us again and again that God is even at work even in the small things, paying a bill, providing a meal, healing a cold, all tallying up to an impressive record on God's provision. Through the prophet Zechariah, the governor of Judah, Zerbadiel received a similar message from God regarding the rebuilding of Jerusalem and the temple. After returning from their Babylonian captivity, a season of slow progression began, and the Israelites grew discouraged. Do not despise these small beginnings, God declared. He accomplishes his desires through us, and sometimes in spite of us. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. When we grow weary at the apparent smallness of God's work, in everyday life all around us. And may we remember that some of his miracles may be small. He uses the small things to build toward his greatest purposes. Dear Lord, thank you for working your small miracles in all of our lives and help us all notice all your works, regardless how little. Amen. And now a couple questions for us to all about. Where have you seen God's miracles in your life? How has he used small things to provide you for needs and the needs of those around you? Instead of actually answering these questions for you, I do, I do want you guys to think about it. I, I want you to remember this thought process also. God uses human ways to communicate or show us. He does not use godly ways. Because we won't understand. So God. Uses human ways. To either communicate. Or to show you the way. Think about it. Amen. Have a great day everybody. And remember to be good. To one another.